We've learned thieves are going crazy for something at the mall. And it's not video games or jewels. What they're after is unmentionable. News 13's Nancy Laughlin reports. They're high end undergarments that are supposed to be worn by angels. But some not so nice people apparently like this apparel too. And they're going on panty raid after panty raid at the mall. What do you think the number one item is people shop with? Oh, probably socks or underwear because they're real small. Shopper Victor Ragorza guessed right, well, half right at least. Albuquerque police say in the past six weeks, shoplifters have targeted women's undergarments at local malls, with Victoria's Secret really taking it in the shorts. Undercover detectives tell us thieves have stolen up to $20,000 worth of items. Eventually, you're going to get caught. Um, you don't know who we are. We're out there all the time. Um, you, you're going to get caught. And APD undercover detectives are on it, arresting more than a half dozen people, including a father son shoplifting team and a mother daughter shoplifting team, too, working in pairs to steal pairs of these, then sell them. Probably easier to sell them on the streets. Uh, really their customers are women. But police say it's not only the people who steal these items who can get into trouble, but people who buy stolen merchandise can get busted, too. If they are aware the items are stolen, then yes, they could also. Uh, face criminal charges. And stealing these itty bitty panties is costing businesses big time, which can mean higher prices for you. That's why police and other security are doing all they can to crack down on criminals. Nancy Laughlin, KRQE News 13. Police say these stolen undergarments aren't being peddled at the flea markets because there's too much police presence there. They think the thieves sell the stuff out of the trunks of their cars.